Grade 4 math number 124. Find unknown measures from area and perimeter. Hmm, sounds like detective work again. We can find an unknown measure by using the area formula or the perimeter formula. Hmm, do you remember that base is B, height is H, length is L, and width is W? Do you remember that area is the green part of this box and perimeter is the black line around it? Okay, well, do you remember that to find the area of a figure, we can multiply the base times the height, 2 times 3. That means the area inside of this rectangle is 6. That the area is the amount taken up on the inside. This red part inside would be the area. The blue line is the perimeter. Okay. We can also use length times width. Area equals L times W. Do you remember that perimeter is found by using the formula 2 times length plus 2 times width, and that you add them together. Do you remember that? All right, well, look at this pink rectangle here. We're missing a side. Do you see the question mark there on the bottom? We don't have the base. We know the area is 30 square feet, and we know that the side is 6 feet. Well, to find a missing measure of a side, we can use the area formula. Area equals base times height. We know that the area is 30. So we know we've got 30, and it's supposed to be base times height, so some number times 6, n times 6. Well, what times 6 is 30? 5. 30 is equal to 5 times 6, so 5 feet is the missing base. See, because it's in feet. That was easy, wasn't it? All right, how about this one? This is 8 feet. The total square area is 24 square feet. We use area equals base times height. We have the base. It's a rectangle, so this side is 8 feet and that side's 8 feet. So 24, the total, is equal to 8 times n. 8 times something is equal to the 24 inside area. 8 times 3 is 24. So we know 3 feet is the missing height. See? See how we use the formula to do that? Well, you have to make sure you're using the correct formula, area or perimeter. Which information were you given? Were you given a side length and the area? Or were you given a side length and a perimeter? Okay? So make sure you're paying attention to that. We can also use a perimeter to find a missing height. So remember, a perimeter is found by length plus width and length plus width, or two lengths, two times the length, plus... 2 times the width. See? This rectangle has a length of 7 centimeters. If we plug it into the formula, 2 times 7 centimeters, well that part of it's 14, but we don't know the 2 times w because we're missing a piece. Well we know that it's a 24 centimeter line, purple line going all the way around. And if this one and this one equals 14, we take the 14 from the total of 24, and we get 10. So we know that this side and this side together equal 10. Together. Okay? So that's the 2 times W. We know they equal 10 centimeters. 2 times N equals 10. 2 times 5 equals 10. So we know that this missing side is 5. Because two of them have to equal the 10. See? So the missing width is 5 centimeters. Alright? So that is how you can find an unknown base or height or length or width by using the area or perimeter formulas. That was easy, wasn't it? I'll see you next video. I'm going to talk about finding area some more. I hope to see you there. Bye.